Hey guys, it's Roz. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed on this thankful, terrific Thursday. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. And thank you for the love and support to come and see what I'm about. And if you can, please like and su subscribe if you haven't yet. And please hit the big thumbs up if you feel like you resonate with my video. And if you feel free and comfortable, go ahead and drop me a couple of lines. I love positive feedback. And if you are returning, uh, thanks fam for the support and love and coming to see what I'm about tonight. And namaste and love and light to you. And many blessings are yet to come. Guys, my video is about story time. I haven't did story time because I really haven't had anything really interesting that I really wanted to share. Except what happened to my, my outside cats. I have like seven cats outside, live outside my house. If you've seen Stephen King, Sleepwalkers from back in the day, and that's like telling my age, that's what it kind of looks like outside. But I have the picture of my thumbnail. There's these five black cats. There's two big ones. I think they're like brother and sister. I call them one Mufasa and one black girl. And then there's one that's Onyx and one's Cue Ball and one's Titus. And it's just like the Cue Ball. Cue Ball is like the one that has kind of got like little white hairs on them. So I, he looks like a little Cue Ball. I mean, you know, the black, black and white little eight balls or whatever you want to call it. Um, and the other ones are like you know, little regular sized kittens, you know, they're only like a couple months old or whatever. So they came with the house that I live in because, well, I actually have been living here for a while. So this black cat just keep on having, you know, these black cats all the time or whatever. But there was the one tiny one. It's, it's like the smallest one. And he's so cute. And that's, you know, the one that looks like a little cue ball. So, um, I always make sure I feed them and everything outside or whatever, but it was a crazy thing that happened last week that ended up really, like, made me step back today. That's why I took a picture of the thumbnail so you can, guys can see the pictures that I'm talking about. Well, the three baby kittens, um, two of them have these little coals and it is, I guess it's like messing with their eye or whatever, and you know how cats rub their heads together. Well, the two babies got these eye problems and the mom got it too it's like her eyes are like dry or whatever so i try to keep it cleaned up or whatever and try to help them you know out as best way i can you know because when they're outside cats they really don't let you bother them too much so it's just like you know i'm trying to make sure they're you're they're okay so but anyways last week my roommate just went outside i guess he was going to smoke a cigarette or whatever and he seen the cat um that the little baby cat, the one that's like got the eight ball thing I was telling you about, uh, eight ball, uh, which was crazy because he was getting attacked. He was, it was like not really attacked, but they were playing around with him a little bit too rough and he got hurt. And he was just holding him up, whatever. And I'm like, oh my God, is he okay? Is he okay? You know, I'm like running outside. And he was like, yeah, he's, you know, he's just got some dirt on him or whatever, but he's fine. He was just like really scared. And then he was just like, you know, we don't really let us touch him or whatever like that, which they really don't unless, you know, they feel like they want to be bothered or whatever like that. But when um, he got attacked, I guess they, you know, I guess it's just like any time to fight or whatever, you feel sore. So he wasn't really moving around like he usually does. So he sits around this corner over here by my garage and I'm just like, oh my gosh, he's just like not moving. It's like all the rest of them are out here playing and he's just sitting here. And I just felt so bad. I'm like, baby, are you okay? And then when I kept on coming up to him, he was like really scared. I'm like, it's okay. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you or whatever. I'm listening to a song by Kalani called Rose. I, you know, I love this song. Um, and it, it's like, my name is Roslyn, the Spanish it's like uh, in Spanish for beautiful red rose. So it's just like, okay, I love this beat or whatever. So I went ahead and put that song in there. So I forgot to tell you guys that beat. It was in the background. I had to go ahead and turn it down. But anyways, um, he had got attacked or whatever. So he had this little clay dirt on his, on his coat. And it was just like I had to do something. It, for the last few nights where we stay in the South, the, the, um, Hold on, guys. 
sorry about that. My music went off, so I had to go ahead and play it back. So I apologize. But anyways, the cat was sitting over there by the garage door. And for the last couple of nights, it's been a really crazy moon, like a really big full moon to where it looks like you can just reach up and touch it. It wasn't that far. It looked kind of creepy, but crazy at the same time. But it was before it got really, really cold because where we live at in the South, it, you know, it gets cold late, 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 you know, late January, late December or whatever. But I felt really bad and I'm just like, I really want to be able to help heal this animal. You know, I really felt like I was able to, you know, help heal this animal. And it was just, I heard something say, just pray over him, just pray over him. We hear you. So next thing you know. I just said, can I touch you? You know, it's, it's okay. You know, and he, you know, he kind of got timid, but I was just like, when I rubbed him and he sees that I wasn't, you know, trying to hurt him or anything, because I guess he was still in shock for those dogs, you know, trying to attack him or whatever. He let me pray over him and I was just crying. I said, God, please, can you, can you take whatever's wrong with him and make him better, make him healthy again? You know, I just give anything, just please, you know, just help this cat. And the next thing you know, I felt this tingle at the top of my head, and this was in the middle of the night because I, I went out to the laundry room to go get my laundry, so it was just in the middle of the night, so I'm looking up, and I'm just like making sure there's nothing in my head, but I felt like a tingle at the top of my, my, my crown chakra, and I felt something come from the heart go straight to my arm, and it was like a tingle. It was like a cold chill. Now, mind you, it wasn't even cold outside at the time, but it was like it ran to the tip of my hand. And I put my hand, when I still had my hand on him, I guess he moved a little bit and he felt okay. And he looked at me and then all of a sudden he came to my foot and started rubbing. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my gosh. It, you know, and it was just so, you know, it was just really crazy and, you know, emotional and stuff like that. I'm like, God, please, you know, just help this animal. Next thing you know, two days later, he started moving and playing around again. He started eating more because I try to make sure he had some milk and, you know, his dry food, his wet food and everything outside, you know, because I made sure he was spoiled. So, you know, kept his food away from everybody else because he couldn't move around that much. But if you look in the thumbnail of my, my pictures that I put up, these other two cats, the, the head, the cat with the head down, his, he started to have crust in his eyes. So I had to make sure, you know, try to you know, help them out as best way as I can if they, when they let me touch them. So I'm trying to make sure their eyes are okay. But one, you know, the, the other two cats got the problem with the eye. But if you see the cat in the back, down at the bottom of the step, the black one, that's the one I put my hand on. Now tell me why the other three cats, that plus the, the mom, are all sick except the one I prayed on. And I'm just like, why is he not sick? Because I'm just like, hey, Paul, is that you? And then he mm. looked up, and I can tell because he was the tiniest one. The tiniest one. I don't know, but I said, whatever I did, I tried to help. You know, I prayed exactly on the other, you know, the other three that are sick. Because the other ones, you can see that his, their eyes are like this. So I'm just like, oh, my gosh, you know. I can't believe I did that. I'm like, what does that mean? I don't know. So if you guys know what that means when you're able to put your hands on something and heal, whatever. I don't know what that tingling was, but the tingling stopped, started from the top of the head, crown chakra, root chakra, whatever they call that, down to the heart, straight to my hands, and that was it. Now he's moving around. He's not sick. All the rest of them are sneezing and you know, and I'm just like, oh, you know, I hope you don't get sick and I don't want Cam to get sick. But he's the only one that doesn't seem phased by anything. And all the rest of the other cats are fine. Except those, you know, the mom cat and Titus and Onyx. So, um, I was just like, okay. But that was the only story I got to tell you guys today. But I just felt like I needed to just tell that, you know, because I was just like, I got a picture of them. So I went ahead and took a picture of them. But I hope the other ones are going to be okay because I went ahead and prayed on, over them. And I felt like a little tingling going on. So I just, you know, I said in Jesus' name, I pray and just left it at that. And I said, okay, I'm going to go check on them in a couple of days. And if I need to, I'll go back out there at night just to make sure and pray over them too. When I'm trying to feed them their food and go ahead and touch the top of their head. Because that seemed like the only time I can touch them is when they're getting ready to eat. So, 
But yeah, guys, that was the only thing I had to tell you about because I felt so happy that I had, you know, was able to do that. And I don't know what that meant. So, if you know, if you guys know what that meant and, you know, you can probably understand and decipher or whatever, please drop me a couple lines and let me know because I don't know what that means. So, um, that's pretty much all I have for my story time today. And much love. I will keep you guys in my prayers, and I hope you'll do the same for me. And please, like I said, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please like and subscribe. He even hit that notification bell. And drop me a couple of lines if you feel free. And even give me a thumbs up. And I will see you in my next video. Peace and be wild.